Hello YouTube and welcome to your fifth tutorial on Microsoft Basic. In this tutorial, we are going to go over mass operators. And what mass operators are? Mass operators are operators specify the operation that is to be carried out on variables and constants. In other words, they are used to do what? Carry out operations on variables and constants. For example, if you want to do 2 plus 2, 2 times 2, 3 minus 2, and all of it they are all what mass operators so I br I printed out a demo here for you to understand what mass operators are now if you look at this place this place that you see this plus sign and this multiplication sign here they are called what operators then the numbers that are operating or the numbers that you are manipulating are called what operands you call them what operands so in this demo you can see that 2 plus 4 times 6. The, no, the numeric values there are called what operands and the arithmetic operators are called what operators. So we are going to be able to use this to manipulate in mathematics. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is, alright let me just give you a list of all the arithmetic operators that we have. Number one we have plus, we have uh, multiplication, we have subtraction, we also have uh, division. Then we also have this one called mode. So we also have what the mode operator, addition, multiplication, subtraction, division. And the last one we have a uh, modulus, modulus operator. Now you all are familiar with these ones here, yeah? but this one, what is this? Now these modulus operators are used, they are used to, let me just write it out. They are used to get the remainder of a number. So like I said, modulus are used to get the remainder of a number. So with this now, these are the numbers of our, our mass operators that we have in QBasic. So let's go back to the code section and see how we can apply them. Now if you have something like this, then I'm going to, okay, simply let's build uh, a simple calculator and see how we can get result out of these numbers here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to say line 30, then I'll say A plus B. I should just say uh, addition, add plus. Then the next thing is uh, mod, that's for multiplication. Mod is equals A times B. Then the next one, line 50, is equals uh, sub subtraction, is equals A minus B. Then the next one will be uh, division. So it will be div, let me use div is equals to a divided by b then what i will do next okay add division sign here then what i will do next is uh to print them out so line 70 will print okay, let me just say string to say addition of a and b then i will say is what well, then the next one uh 80 print multiplication multiplication of a and b I'll just say equals me with a little space here equals more that is a variable name then on uh, line 90 print for that subtraction or differences let me use difference. differences of a and b is equals i'll put sub there then the next one 100 print uh div division division is a quotient quotient of a and b is equals to now I'll put div there. One other thing I forgot to add, which we'll do in the next, uh, okay, let me just add it here also. Actually, 1, 1, 10 is, uh, I'm supposed to say mod module, that is my variable name, is equals um, A mod B. And I'll just print it out. Print the remainder, remainder of A and B is equals, and I'll say mod do. So, I think we are good to go. I'll just run this program and be able to talk you guys through it one more time. Yeah. And there's an error so look for a way to debug it please it escaped my memory anytime you want to join two strings together for example you want to join this one the sum of a and b is equals to then this one what you need to do is to add a comma here like as you can see when you say the, the uh, you put this one in double quote the sum of a and b is equals to you close your quote comma then you add the uh, variable name here please it, it escaped my memory just make sure you add your comma here that is why i was having that uh, error here so now let's continue if you compile this program and run it like let's do it now and see so it ran then you see uh i hope you're seeing then you see uh the sum of here he said that the sum of a and b is equal to 17 of course 15 plus 2 is all is 17 then the product of the two numbers are what 30 the difference between the two numbers are 13. Then the quotients of the number are 8. Then this one is where I am interested in. 
this the remainder of a and b is equals to one. The reason is because this modular or modulus sign is used to when you divide two numbers together, when you divide it with your normal division, then the remainder, for example, if you do 15 divided by 2, is going to be 7, remainder 1. So that 1 that remains is what is outputted here, 1. So in, a, in other words, modulus is used to get the remainder of a number. I hope you cleared the problem, so let's continue. So once again, uh, this is your quick tutorials on what mass operator and don't always forget to do what add your comma here anytime you want to concatenate two things together all right in the next tutorial we'll be talking about more operators so don't forget to subscribe and one thing i want to encourage you to do is to copy each of these source code here write it the way they are and try to compile it yourself then by so doing you are learning it by yourself so I wish you luck and don't forget to subscribe. See you.